She's six years old, three feet tall, and her best friend is a 650-pound calf named Duke. Natalie Mai would normally be at home in Rome, Texas, working on her family's ranch. But this is no ordinary day. This weekend, she's at the Fort Worth Stock Show. Natalie hopes Duke will come home with a blue ribbon, but because it's his first show, she doesn't expect it. We call him Montego Bay here, but at home we call him Duke. Since 1896, the stock show has brought families together from around the world to show and sell their livestock. Last year, more than 20,000 exhibitors competed. Though the stock show is thriving, cattle ranchers are feeling the effects of a hurting economy. But families like the Mai's help keep the industry alive. 22 years ago, more than a million cattle businesses were in existence. Since then, 600,000 of those operations have gone under. The U.S. Department of Agriculture predicted livestock profits would drop by $22.7 billion last year. But that hasn't discouraged the Mai's. I mean, part of it for me is making some money, too. It's, it helps provide for the family a little bit, so... Between that and just, I've always grown up around cattle, and I, I don't know, I love everything about it. It's in their blood. Natalie has been coming to the stock show since she was a baby. She went to her first stock show when she was four days old. We, uh, she got out of the hospital on a Friday, and we went to the North Texas State Fair on Saturday, and we've pretty much been doing it ever since. And for many families, it's this dedication and passion that have turned employment into enjoyment. Nearly 23% of all cattle ranchers work more than 60 hours per week. And 14-year-old Chaz Tillman knows what it takes to raise a champion. It's long hours. I get up before school to an hour and a half, and I mean, we feed, and then I don't go in, get in, I get out of school, and I go and I work till probably 9 o'clock, night time. Kayla Martin inherited a strong work ethic from her family members. She even gave up basketball to continue her family's tradition. You feed them twice a day, and then you, you have to work their hair, so you have to blow them out and wash them every day and walk them, and then do work with them when the show sick and all that stuff. So. Kayla and the women in her family have looked beyond the scope of the struggling cattle industry because ranching is what they love. My grandmother showed, my mom showed, now it's my turn. Hard work may not always have an immediate payoff, but for Natalie and Duke, this time it did. Duke was named junior calf champion of his division. Natalie's dad is proud of his little girl's hard work, and Natalie is just as proud of her baby, Duke.